Miss Arabi's 25 years young. <laughs> what a remarkable evening. I, this is going to be one of the greatest nights of my life. Um, we are all very lucky to be here in front of such an incredible, stellar, amazing cast. I mean, seeing the original cast here, the two wonderful London companies at the moment, and our extraordinary cast of tonight, that I've not only shared Les Miserables with them, I've shared most of my professional life with them. And everyone, including the choir, the ensemble, everyone, they're all the stars of the West End. <laughs> They're here for the same reason I'm here and the same reason you're here. We love it. We love Les Miserables. There's something extraordinary about this music. <laughs> ever since it opened 25 years at the Barbican, it, it is you, the public, that have grasped it and embraced it in the most personal way. And that's how we all feel. I, I watched the second act backstage. It was the most, it was as electrifying as it was for you outside, just because the embrace between us and seeing everybody just love this material so much and love their fellow performers is something I have never encountered in the theatre and I never will for the rest of my life. So, the, the inspiration, of course, belongs to Victor Hugo. And Victor Hugo inspired two Frenchmen. They had to be French, of course. <laughs> Alain Mobile and Claude Michel Schoenberg to write the show with the wonderful, uplifting words of Herbert Kretzmann. Ladies and gentlemen, the authors of Les Miserables. Just a few words on such an emotional evening in front of such a huge and warm crowd. Uh, I must remember that 32 years ago, I was asking myself one question. Would Les Miserables make a good subject for a musical? <laughs> and I wasn't conscious enough to think it was, and Claude Michel crazy enough to agree with me. So, tonight is the celebration of, obviously, the genius of Victor Hugo, of nearly 40 years of collaboration and friendship between Claude Michel and me. And 27 years of collaboration and friendship with Cameron McIntosh. of a celebration of incredible talents that we met through Cameron and namely there are the people who have helped us to reshape our work and they are James Fenton, Trevor Nunn, John Caird and master lyricist Herbert Kressler. Yeah. Well, it's an evening, it's hard to speak, but an open evening which I will remember for all my life, obviously. Uh, seeing this company of companies perform this night, this incredible evening, and the 1985 evening with whom we share so many memories, so many fond memories, is something that, you know, we'll carry away for the rest of our life. And I want to thank you, Cameron, again for making us such an incredible and overwhelming birthday present. Yeah. I 
have prepared only one speech. So it's going to be the same as the one of this afternoon. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an incredible evening for us. We are on a privilege to attend such a concert. But I'm wondering what we are doing here, really, because generally, when you have a tribute for a show like that, it means that the authors, they are dead for a long time. <laughs> and we are still here. And they are not very happy every day, those two, James and Lawrence, the director of the show, that we are here, because we are always looking what they're doing with, the, with our baby. <laughs> but anyway, as Alain said, it's 40 years of brothership between me and Alain, 27 years of friendship and collaboration with Cameron. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's very tough, <laughs> but it's always a lot of fun, and I wish that it will last a very long time. Thank you very much. Again. for the 50th anniversary. What shall I do? I intend to be here, though. Now, now in, in 2002, it was Victor Hugo's bicentennial, and we decided that we would do a school's edition so that under-19-year-olds could perform the show. They've been extraordinary doing it. Hundreds and thousands of students and tens of thousands of productions have done it. And now here, just a few of them are going to be here to take part in our celebration as we come to an end tonight. They are the future. They will be doing Les Miserables when tomorrow comes.